Friends, do you know that there is a simple rule of VLOOKUP? If you are using VLOOKUP, your lookup value must be in a leftmost column of the table, right? But what if you have your lookup value in the rightmost column of the table? So you will say, sir, if I have updated version of Excel, then I'll use XLOOKUP. But what about those, those who are not having Excel 2021 or Excel 2019? Let me tell you that it's, you can use VLOOKUP as a reverse VLOOKUP. Means if you are having your lookup value in the rightmost column of the table, still you will able to find out with values of the uh, left, which is available of that rightmost column of the table. And it is absolutely possible by using choose formula inside VLOOKUP. But how to use that choose formula inside VLOOKUP, how you can use VLOOKUP as a reverse means if you are having value in the rightmost column of the table, which is you're looking for, and if you are interested to learn this one, that is reverse VLOOKUP, then watch this video till the end. But before going ahead, let me tell you, this is the fifth video of our VLOOKUP series. And if you are interested to watch previous videos, just go into the description. I have put down the link and just check it out that playlist too. So for now, in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can use the reverse VLOOKUP. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So friends, let me demonstrate how to use reverse VLOOKUP. But why do we need reverse VLOOKUP? As I already mentioned, if we have a lookup value in the rightmost column of the table, then it becomes challenging to apply VLOOKUP directly. This is because VLOOKUP has a rule that you cannot search for value from right to left. You can only look for the value from left to right. And your lookup value must be in the leftmost column of the table. However, in our case, we have names in the leftmost column of the table and that is not our lookup value. Our lookup value is employee ID. So we want to find out employee details based on the employee ID. For example, if I enter 1005, I should get the information related to Shivanand Sahani that is located in this row. And that was easily possible for our previous example that we have a lookup value and the leftmost column of the table. And then we can get it with the help of VLOOKUP over here that I already told you in previous example. For now, we have a different scenario. That is our employee ID is located at the rightmost column of the table. So now what will be the solution for this? To achieve this, we need some logic. I will use choose formula to virtually restructure the table. Instead of keeping the same table as it is inside the VLOOKUP formula, I will restructure this table with the help of choose formula. What do I mean restructure? Meaning is that I don't want to edit this original table. I want to create one virtual table where my employee ID should be located at the leftmost column of the table. And how to do it? Let me show you practically now. As I already mentioned, I need to use a choose formula to restructure our table to create a new virtual table where employee ID should be located at the leftmost. For that, I need to type a choose formula over here. I'm going to type is equal to choose. Once I type the choose formula, I'll get these argument like index number value one, value two. Now. Let's open a curly braces to add the index number and I'm going to put over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and close the curly braces. The reason for using numbers from 1 to 6 is that we have a 6 columns in our table. Look over here. If you have more columns, you can add more numbers corresponding to the number of columns in your table. So for now, in our case, we have a 6 columns. So I have taken 1 to 6 numbers in index number argument. Now once done with index number argument, close the curly parenthesis and then put down comma. Then there is a next argument that is value one. For value one, select range F1 to F18, which is our employee ID. This will make the employee ID at the first column for our virtual table. That's why I'm selecting F1 to F18 at first position that is on value one. Now once you select F1 to F18 and add another comma and proceed with the remaining value arguments to include the other columns as needed. We have next column that is a A1 to A18 then put down again comma and select B1 to B18 then put down a comma select C1 to C18 then put down a comma select D1 to D18 and put down comma and then select E1 to 18. All these actions are happening in the formula bar as you can see here I have added all these ranges. These ranges is nothing but the columns from our table. So once you're done with all selection, then close the bracket and press enter key on keyboard. 
and boom look over here now guys we have successfully created a virtual table with the help of choose formula where our first column is employee id that is our leftmost column and that is what we are looking for we are looking for that employee id should be at the leftmost column of the table for we look up and that we have done with the choose formula now we have rearranged or restructured we can say the table i'm getting over here a complete restructured table with the help of this new virtual table i'm going to use a we look up formula to get the employee details as i already mentioned we look ups required that look up value must be in the leftmost column of the table and we have created new restructured table using choose formula where our employee id at the leftmost column of the table so choose formula help us to rearrange your column order and how to do it that i have told you practically we have to mention the index number as a column number and then we have to select the column ranges according to our requirement so i have selected f1 to f18 as first column and then rest of the columns are like you know, sequentially now once you done with this you just have to cut this formula or copy this formula from here and let's type we look up formula to get the employee details now i'm going to apply we look up over here so type is equal to we look up the look up value will be in j1 so i'm going to select it and in order to drag this formula we need to fix j1 by pressing f4 now put down a comma to jump on the next argument that is our table array so now instead of selecting our old table right this one instead of selecting our old, old table we are going to paste the formula that already we have copied from here that is a choose formula right so we are taking our new restructure table where our employee id at the leftmost column of the table now one more thing you need to fix all these ranges by selecting this range so i am going to select all the columns and by pressing f4 i am going to fix this range what is next next is put down a comma over here our next argument is column index number we need to make it dynamic column index number so that's why i am going to put it row formula over here and what this row will represent if you select the row then you'll come to know it is showing row number 2 it means that a column index number will be 2 and for this example we need a column index number as a 2 we don't need to subtract any number from here right as i've already told you in previous example how to use this row function now put down a comma again and there is a next argument that is range lookup and it should be a exact match that is equal to 0 so i have put down a 0 and then close the bracket and press enter key on keyboard and boom guys look or your your result is in front of you drag the formula you'll get the result and just change the number to ensure that is it working from right to left or not it is working yes it is working aniruddha kale 1001 1002 it's a uh, aslam raja right exactly now we don't also need this one table so i'm going to delete it so this is a trick guys with the help of this trick you can do the reverse lookup means your lookup value is located at the rightmost column of the table and still you are able to get the values with the help of we lookup by using choose formula So before moving ahead let me tell you about a new tool that we have designed for you guys that is Excel Booster. If you want to get this tool for free join our free online webinar the link is provided in the description. By attending the webinar you will receive the Excel Booster tool as a bonus. This tool will significantly increase your work productivity in Excel and offers many useful options like upper case proper case lower case. Suppose take example there is a list of employee names your boss told you to make it upper case to everyone so now just select it and click on upper case boom this is just one trick that i have shown you but there are so many tricks so many options it will definitely save your time suppose for instance if you want to create a pdf of each individual sheet you can click on workbook pdf select a location and then click on okay so this option will generate separate pdf for every sheet there are many more options reduce for your daily microsoft task so if you are interested to get this tool in your excel it's absolutely free for those those who are attending my online power bi developer road map webinar the link is given in the description for now the webinar is available in hindi very soon it will be available in english and will let you know about that but those who are compatible with hindi they can attend webinar right now by clicking on the description link register themselves and attend that recorded webinar so that's it for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel also share it with your friends See you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.